Proverbs chapter 25, verse 3. The heaven for height, and the earth for depth, and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. John chapter 14 verse 6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus, being the ideal standard of the individual, declares in the first person, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and the gate thereof is straight. The man of earth, depth, must enter in at the straight gate, and tread the narrow way, to cometh unto the Father of heaven, height. The individual comprises of height and depth, the straight and narrow. Height can be used to denote the point at which something is at its best or strongest. Depth can be used to imply or infer something of profoundness, importance, insight, intelligence, perceptiveness, awareness, understanding, or discernment, as opposed to shallowness or triviality. The straight and narrow is the true and honest way the individual must conduct themselves in order to align with the will of the Father, the Highest. Here are a few more Bible verses of relevance. John chapter 10 verse 9 I am the gate. If anyone enters through me, he will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 18 For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12 to 13 For as the body is one and hath many members, And all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptised into one body. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. Psalm chapter 125 verse 4 Do good, O Lord unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 11 through 19. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Height and depth can be abbreviated with the letters H and D. Together, The letters HD are an abbreviation of the term high definition. God represents the highest definition of the individual.